Uh, good morning and welcome to another lesson for Photoshop. And today we are going to have a quick lesson on how we can move text behind an image. Uh, usually it is done and seen regularly in magazines, cover pages. So let's quickly move on. This is a Photoshop version CC 2017 I'm using on a Mac. And you may have, uh, if you're using Windows, so you get you may get some different options, but things would be overall same. And uh, let's do it. I'm gonna use uh, the basic image like we had last time. Uh, my favorite, uh, Tom Cruise, this image. What I like this Im image about is, what I like about this image is actually, uh, the background is quite different from the foreground, number one, all that's taken from the film where there was a desert storm in the back. I think it's a ghost protocol, Mission Impossible, or maybe the previous version. Uh, anyway, so this image is quite suitable and we're gonna you know, use it. So I just uh, opened this uh, a typical image in a, uh, a Photoshop and it made a background layer for it. We, did, we talked about it that whenever, whatever we do, it makes a separate layer because Photoshop is a layered uh, software. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna add some text here. And uh, when I will click, it will instantly add another layer. And whatever I will write here, it will rename that layer with that text or we can always rename it later on as well. So I'm gonna write Tom, Tom Cruise here. And I'm going to, you know, write it here like this. Take it. And I want this text to go uh, behind it. But uh, we can also do, you know, we can make cruise go down like this and you know something like this actually it is using my previous settings i'm i'm, I'm going to enlarge it or transform it so i will press ctrl t you should learn these uh, shortcuts as well they would be quite handy in the longer run so i think it looks little strange and nice maybe like this okay so i will just click this tick to apply this transformation and we can always uh, turn on or off the visibility of uh, this you know layer so i will turn it off for now because i need to work on this background so i will click here and i'm going to select it and to make it look foreground forever throughout and i would want my text to remain in the back so what i will do i will go to this quick selection tool and I am going to little magnified. Control plus is the key to magnify it uh, to 100% further. Like you can see it's a 300, then I will control press it's a 400, but I would want 150 so I can directly even type in here. 150% is okay for me now because I can see my entire screen. So quick selection tool is already clicked. So I'm going to, you know, do this. If you will do uh, uh, something wrong by mistake, maybe coming up here, so you will have to press Alt, right, to to take it back. Actually, can you see I'm pressing Alt actually to take it back? And now I'm going to again uh, make my selection uh, right. And you face that, for example, you don't want to go into detail and correct it by pre pressing Alt, and you want to deselect it throughout altogether. So you will you can press Control D to deselect it. And now you can again select from the beginning. So uh, which, is, which is what I prefer because sometimes correcting mistakes in the minor level is are more hard than doing the thing right from scratch once again. So it is selected primarily, but I'm not satisfied with the hair thing because here is a tricky thing. And let's select and mask and see how things are being done. So if we click select and mask, we can see that the whole background is gone and got transparent, but this hair has some issue you can still verify the, that through other options like there is some issue part the other turns different and it is looking different so again so we have found that there is a problem with the hair thing actually we, we make them we want them to look like actual hair so there's a tool here if you have some circular thing to be selected again this is this option but uh, we have a hair here so this is option for hair selection so i'm going to you know, select here. Can you see it's turning red? It means that they are also selected now properly. So I'm just going to do, there are other options uh, you can explore, but I don't want to talk about them right now because I don't want to make this tutorial a little complicated. We have to stick to the plan, the basic thing. And I'm just gonna do okay. And my hair then everything is selected nicely. So I'm going to turn on my text layer and I'm going to click 
on that layer first and uh, so it's visible let's get back to the background layer actually and i'm going to uh, you know it's checked or unchecked you have to double checked it simply i'm going to click on this thing okay so i'm going to uh, this add layer mask actually and i will press alt from my keyboard and click here right what happened actually uh, it went visible uh, or invisible rather sorry so we made the layer uh, invisible although we wanted the text to be invisible so uh, sometimes when we do mistakes we learn so i'm going to undo it and i'm going to click here actually and now i would add a uh, mask to this layer by clicking alt right so if you want to make the font invisible or go behind the uh, uh, foreground or the image so you have to click on the font layer first and then you will add a layer mask and uh, by clicking the or pressing the alt key button because it will invert uh, the mask the way you want it so, or you can just memorize in the beginning because i can't go into details so just press uh, alt key on the keyboard and then uh, click the mask and it will be done like this and uh, let me do it again for you we select we just selected it number one uh, through uh, selection tool quick selection tool and we went to select and mask and we corrected the hair thing we turned it on and after this by staying on this layer actually we are pressing alt from my keyboard and then add layer mask and after this i have to click this chain icon to make it unlinked this is important and now i have to click here not here here now it's perfectly okay and now i can do whatever i want to do with my thing and if you want to change the color of the text still it's a different text different thing different layer you can do whatever you want to do with this maybe i can go to uh, some sharp color or any color of my choice for example maybe this hmm? so we can uh, like hold on let me select it first and now you know we can go for any color you can see the color is being changed uh, maybe green or maybe you know uh, purplish whatever i want this is what we actually did so this brings an end to today's lesson tutorial i hope you have learned something different uh, and obviously before moving to the end we have to save it first in the photoshop file if you want to change it in photoshop tom cruise one maybe dot psd psd means it's a photoshop file but obviously if your system or mobile won't have photoshop you won't be able to view it so we have to save it as an image as well so i'm going to save it as a jpeg image right and with full quality i'm gonna say okay and now let's see how it looks uh, in as a normal image uh, let's open it first and see how it it's looking in the real world so let me yeah i'm going to share it again with you because uh, the zoom is wants me to share it separately this is what we uh this is what we actually did i hope you can see it and let me double check if you can see it or not uh, i really hate zoom sometimes yeah now i think you can see it so this is what we did actually and looking quite nice and different uh, obviously thanks to this image of thanks to tom cruise and uh, this cool you know uh, there's a strong background is adding uh, some cool view to our image so this brings end to, to our today's class so see you next time take care bye bye